up out of the vehicle. Hey, yo. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey officer. Hey, hey, no, no, no. Hey, 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 hey. Matter of fact, matter of fact, look at my ID. That's why I think I'm somebody. Take hey, some cuffs off. You guys really had nothing else to go to college for but be a cop and harass me? To assume I'm somebody I'm not? My ID's in my back pocket. Hey, watch, funny, how, watch how funny this is. What does that say? What does that say? Oh. Wrong guy. Oh. Wrong guy. Oh my God. According to Martin Luther King, freedom is never given voluntarily by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. In a painfully recurring cycle, we have seen and heard countless incidents where individuals are unjustly attacked, and these attacks are triggered by their skin color. In this video, we will see cases of racial profiling, where the harmless victims are disrespectfully handed because they refuse to fall for the antics of the police. On August 10th of 2022, Officer Colleen McCarthy of City of Sunrise Police Department responded to a distress call made by one of the managers of a convenience store. According to them, 14 boys had gotten into a fight, but they had left by the time the officer got to the scene. The officer proceeded to check the CCTV footage, and it wasn't quite clear if the boys had real guns or not, but what's clear is that they were at the convenience store and had pulled a gun on the other guy. I left the store? Yeah, three of them was here. And then he working in the back room, my bedroom. I was, I was working outside, like the, the back room. My I was saying you didn't have any argument, nothing. Just okay. she, she's wondering because they have three guns. Three guns and one. Where were the guns? Yeah, how did in they their waist. Their kids. In, they take it out. They take yeah, they it out. Then one of the boys who had a gun pulled on him returned to the store with his brother. Officer Colleen tried getting the boys to talk to her inside the store, but with the way that she came at them, they sure didn't want to have any conversation, and this is where things went south. Oh, you know what happened. Stop saying crazy. Hey. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, he wasn't there like running the bank back. Were you here earlier? If I would have lost my life, he would have been looking. Yo, yo, talk okay, to us. No, it, it's not. Like, like, yo, what, what was going no, on happened. earlier? But you guys were, were obviously, you guys were on freaking camera. Alright, it's not. Why would you spin this on? Yo, come over here for a second. What? Let's come, let's come talk. When EMS arrived at the scene, Officer Colleen told him that she had thought that the boy was armed. This was a lie. Why come back over here. Uh, Where are you going, bro? I don't want to talk to Get over here. Uh, okay, well, let me talk to you. I'm going to lie. Y'all, yeah, time up. Uh, we need to stop. Stop. Let me go, car. Let me go, car. What? Let me go, car. Let me go, car. Let me go, car. Let me go. Let me go. Right now, inside the store, and we were working on it, and then one of them came back in with his brother. So that's why. So there was like a rifle that one of the kids had. So that's why we went out with him, and he didn't want to. Oh, this is the twenty-two. Yeah. yeah. So it's stemming from this. We were trying to get video from the guy, and, the and then they in. walked back in. And then the guy's like, "This is these are the kids." So. So that's why. Curtis was arrested for resisting without violence, and just like most baseless charges, the charge was thrown out. Sometimes the quiet ones, when faced with harassment from racist cops, are the ones the cops should be most scared of. On January 27, 2020, Officer Noah Dufour of the Pinnacle Police Department conducted a traffic stop on Tehran Black, a counselor who was later discovered to be on his way to work. Just because Tehran needed to find a more comfortable space to pull over, what could have been a mere traffic stop went to a different level rather quickly. Stopping Julian Bernard. Stopping Julian Bernard. Get out of the vehicle now! Get out of the vehicle now. Step out of the vehicle. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Put your hands on top of your head. I'm at work. Put your hands together, you're good to keep clapping. Go ahead and stand up. 224, one detained. I'm at work. Do you have any objection to me searching right now, ma'am? Uh, yes, sir. You do? 
Yeah. Okay, do you have any identification on you? Um, this is my car. Okay, I'm Officer Dupour, the Pensacola Police Department. Yes, sir. The reason I'm stopping you today is because your seatbelt is off. Okay? Did you hear that? Because of a seatbelt? This is the same seatbelt Ron asked to take off just before he stepped out of his car. Police, right here. Don't reach right there. Oh. Is it okay that I want that up and see? Yeah. Okay. That's my page. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Go ahead and take a seat. Unit 224 10 4. 10 4. Take a seat. Oh. Yeah. I was just stopping, waiting until I got to a place to where I feel comfortable. I'm at, I'm at work right now. I'm going to go see a client right now. Who? Mill initial hell for Levantia. State of birth 11 5 like out of the Black roadway. Right. Cool. But to come this far and not stop? The only thing I'm saying, officer, is that I have no reason to flee. I'm literally at work right now. Literally at work right now. I kid you not. I was actually headed back to the job. I work right around the corner to at Lakeview and Baptist. I was literally finna head right back to work because I gotta go see a client who's been baked right there. that's it. I okay. Literally have no... I need your license, your registration, your insurance. Do I have okay. permission to enter your vehicle and grab those items? Can Can I get it? No, sir. You're detained right now. You okay. fled from law enforcement. I, I didn't, I'm literally at You work. fled from law enforcement. Can I'm I, not gonna argue with you yeah. about that anymore. Can you grab your license, registration, and proof of insurance? Yes, sir. Yes, Where sir. is it at? Um, I got it in, in, in my front seat. Just in your front seat? No, I got my license in my wallet, okay. and then I got my... Um, the rest of it is in my uh, glove department. Okay. I can grab it. Can he go grab it? Cuffing a nonviolent civilian over a supposedly seatbelt violation is hilarious to begin with, but moving with intent to search his car is just unbelievable. And Teron wasn't about to give the officer his permission to do that. Just when Teron was having this back and forth calm conversation with Officer Noah, two more officers got on the scene. All of these for a seatbelt violation? Clearly not. Can I go grab it? No, ma'am. Okay. So, stay seated. Okay. Call on 224. Two no, my apologies. Uh, everybody's in training for the K9. 26, thank you. To frisk the immediate area around the driver's seat to verify that there's no weapons that you could harm any of us with, okay? From there, I'm going to release you from your handcuffs and I'm gonna put you back in your driver's seat and then we will continue the traffic stop from there, okay? Okay. Do you have anything to say to me? No. Okay. Seeing that Teron wasn't falling for their antics, Officer Noah called up the K-9 unit, but when he didn't get a positive response, he came up with another excuse to get into Teron's car. Rather than apologize, the officer gave Tehran a citation for not wearing a seatbelt, but here's where it becomes juicy. Tehran wasn't just going to let this harassment slide. He sued the Pinnacle Police Department for a whopping $200,000. Interesting indeed. Putting a man in cuffs and attempting to search a car for over an alleged seatbelt violation seems like the tip of the iceberg compared to seeing racist police officers who would rather harass and arrest civilians than apologize when they make a huge mistake. On July 13th, 2022, that would be the day that would mark Reginald James' calendar as a deeply traumatic day. To begin his day, he barely escaped a drive-by shooting in which he had no involvement, but everything got a whole lot worse when the police showed up in his neighborhood. Reginald just wanted to be alone and go about his business, but the officer had placed him in cuffs, and one of them started looking at Reginald's wallet after getting his ID. Clearly, the officer should have let Reginald go at this point, and channeled this energy into finding out the guys involved in the shooting. What they did instead was arrest Reginald for not identifying himself. This is right after he handed over his wallet with his ID in it. With that guy, they're saying that this guy walking down the street right here is the guy that they were shooting at. Okay, I've been seeing him over and he don't live in here, but I've been seeing him. He crosses from back, back behind well, us let's, there. Let's have a conversation with him because uh, they're saying he's the one that's shot okay. at. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing on you that's going to hurt me. I don't know. You don't know? No, sir. I'm going to patch down for our safety then. Everybody else's safety. So is it going to cause you more trouble because they see you getting jammed up or is it going to make it look like you're getting treated like and you can actually talk to us later? 
I and, really uh, ain't got nothing to say to y'all. I'm just you, trying to go home. Y'all stopped me for no reason. Uh, no, we stopped you for... I'm, I'm passing by and I fit a description. Uh, you, actually, you were pointed out. That's okay. So, they, they may have all made a mistake when we work this out. Y'all, y'all up. It's cool, though. How do I up? Because I ain't do You stopping me for no reason. Oh, okay. Y'all gonna figure it out. I'm a, a little college bit, little graduate. Bit. I'm a homeowner. That's my home right there. That's my Which rental one? property. Right uh, on the corner. Okay. Well, you all you had to do is no, talk I, to us I a little bit. I have to talk to y'all. I don't need to talk to y'all. appreciate it if we worked it out together, but no, that, I'm no, trying to work it out. I don't have to deal with y'all. Y'all don't understand uh, that. I don't at have certain to times, you do have to deal I with us. I don't have, I, me, I don't have to deal with y'all. At certain times, you do, I sir. don't have to deal with you, Mr. That's, McAdams. Yeah. What's your name, well, sir? Mr. Negron? Yes, sir. Nice to meet uh, you. So you say you don't know nothing about nothing, I'm you not ain't got nothing. no questions, bro. Hey, relax. Come talk to Thank me. you. Let's he, go. He's a turd ain't from over there. One minute, he's being arrested for not identifying himself, and the next, the reason changes to obstruction. All he did was refuse to speak with police, and this is not considered a crime. A witness pointing out to the police that Reginald is a victim still wasn't enough reason for the police to pack up, apologize, and let the young man go. After trying to convince themselves that they had a real reason to keep Reginald in detention, the officers decided to arrest him and charge him with obstruction. Well, people pulling him out, that's what I got. That he was part because of. Because you're stopping that's what he's I saying. don't want to be bothered. Listen, I don't so, with y'all. I'm on the car. Joy, Central. My first, 209 Central. I'm in route to 206. Possibly show me not having a camera. Go ahead. 209 and 1930. It's open. Has he identified himself yet? So, he, okay. he allowed me to get Bill Po out. Okay. Well, as of right but, now, okay. he's under arrest for obstruction. Go ahead and have a seat. Because you, you have to identify yourself. You I did. He has my ID. Okay, well, once we get to that point, you ain't got to answer no questions to me. You ain't, oh, you ain't got to talk. I said, listen. He should have his sister up in the system because Michael Brown actually did a report for his oh. shift one night over there because he was drunk and stupid with this guy drunk and stupid. Well, all I care about is does he have warrants for his arrest? And you showed to be clear. Okay. One, he's been now banned from oh, housing. Right. Banned him from housing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm trying to decide if we're going to arrest him or not. Did he give you his wallet, or did we take his wallet after we detained him? Because after we detained him, mm -hmm. we took his it. wallet. He told, hey, but he he turned and said, "There it is." But he got it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if, if, if he doesn't want to identify himself. He's, he's trying to walk away when we have a legal reason to stop. I, 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 that's when you grabbed him, man. I thought he's fixing to run. He he stays in that gray house. I'm pretty sure. Do what? He, that one stays in the gray house. Yeah, he's a turd. Yeah. He's had a lot of. I mean, he's hard to deal with at all times. She said he was already up on his porch and all the cops are down doing their thing and he jumped off his porch and left and went another way. Then he comes right back up through. Yeah, to see what's going on. Since they're busy, I'm going to get you to transport him, do the arrest paperwork. I'll do the narrative stuff on it. Hey, you're talking to the lady in the red shirt from her Yeah, I just got hers. We got her, the witness that said he info so we can justify why we make contact. Trust this kind of action by the police to be met with a lawsuit because Texarkana Police Department sure got one from Reginald's lawyers. These are just a few lucky ones. Some other individuals get it worse from officers who decide to label them as criminals just because they fit a particular profile. But did you enjoy the video? If so, let us know in the comments. Also, tell us what you would like to see next. Make sure to like the video, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss another video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.